Hello and welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. This is part two, which is pick our team for PSG, the biggest game of our season. And I'm delighted to still be joined by Ramon. Now, we need to pick our strongest team. There are a lot of debates flying around with various players, various players who were injured, um, all sorts of things. So let's start off with the big man in goal. I think he kind of speaks for himself. Yeah, it's going to be Thibaut Courtois. And I know sort of the last few games he's had a bit of sort of iffy moments. Just um, dodgy decision making, I think. Yeah, I think that I think the ex the expectation is for him to be as consistent and as great as Petr Cech was. And I think he will get there. We need to give him time. He's still a very young keeper, but he is capable of being amazing. And I think sort of some of the saves he pulled off against Stoke before they scored were sort of really good signs. Um, going to our back four, we discussed in part one, sadly, we're hearing that John Terry is out injured. How detrimental is that to the team that we don't have arguably our, well, I don't think it's not even arguably for me, our best defender hands down and our captain. So leadership on the pitch as well as off. Yeah, I think, I think both of them combined is the biggest issue. Maybe you could live without sort of John Terry as the player, mm -hmm. um, particularly if Zuma was fit. But now without our two best sort of centre backs, you miss that sort of leadership on the back line, um, just marshalling them, and then the leadership within the whole team as well, as long as well as his just excellent play at the back. So I think it's very detrimental, but at the same time we do have two very experienced and capable defenders. Right, so our back four, I'm guessing, kind of speaks for itself. We've got our central defenders. Yeah, so I think Cahill and Ivanovic are pretty much a lock to be playing centre-back. Um, I don't think Miazga has sort of played a game yet. No, no, don't no, think no, they're no. going to risk it not, as Certainly uh, not in a game PSG. like this. He can definitely be on the bench, but uh, certainly not to be uh, started in a game like this, that's for sure. Um, again, I think Azpilicueta, right back, as he has done. Baba left back, um, but I guess the, uh, some people have been, when I've been reading people's tweets and comments on the videos, they've been talking about possibly Kennedy, because he is going, he is very good going forward. But again, Baba and Kennedy's defensive displays have both actually come under question a little bit, haven't they? Yeah, no, I think that's the biggest issue. I think you're looking at sort of Baba being the natural left back, but still having those sort of defensive issues. And I think if Kennedy was fully fit, you might, you may be risked his sort of better attacking play, but I think you have to go with Baba Rahman for this game. Yeah, so we have Azpilicueta right back, Cahill Ivanovic, Baba left back. Right, let's go into midfield where there is definitely some debate. And this is slightly down to a lot of uh, fans, and I, I actually agree, I personally think Fabregas can be slightly more effective going forward and playing behind the number 10. Um, What's your take on that, firstly? Um, well, I do see sort of Fabregas being capable of playing a job behind that number 10 role. But I think he, I think you saw it last season at the beginning of it, where he was picking Diego Costa from deep. Um, I think he prefers that pivot role, but without having that sort of defensive task being just set at him, mm -hmm. which is why I think we sort of balance that off with one of a more sort of defensive minded midfielder. So again, playing devil's advocate, obviously it's key in this game that we do not concede. So are we going to go gung ho and really go for it and get these goals? Um, or are we going to try and play it more cagey and keep that clean sheet? So obviously the more defensive option is Matic and Mikel. I personally am not a fan of those two playing together. I think it's very negative. We're at home and we need to get these goals. Um, your take on Matic and Mikel? I sort of have the same feeling as you. I think it's sort of too defensive when you need to go out for a win and Matic's form can't really justify a position mm -hmm. in the team at the moment. I think if he was playing out of his skin... I thought he played better against Stoke, I must say, yeah. but I do think his form has definitely come under question many, many games this season. Yeah, and I think he doesn't provide that defensive solidity that he did last season, so it's... I don't think there's the sort of... You don't get that balance for taking Fabregas out of the midfield. You don't get that sort of defensive assurance with Matic this season. Agreed. Right. So we are going with Mikel and Fabregas in the midfield. Uh, so no Matic. 
Now, this front three, it all depends on, for me, whether Pedro is fit. Uh, we haven't heard anything recently as to whether he's fit, so I'm guessing it's going to be a very late fitness test he'll be taking. If he is fit, for me, Pedro plays and he starts on the wing. How about you? I think definitely. I think with his last few games before he got injured, you saw a sort of real improvement in his game. He was able to sort of keep the ball dribble how you saw him. Scoring oh, goals. More at Barcelona. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't the sort of Pedro that was running along our back four and giving the ball away in our own half. Um, I think he was sort of one of our be better players just before he got injured, which was a real shame, especially so early on in the game. So if, okay, let's go with the other certs who we at the moment know are not injured. And for me, obviously Hazard and William need to yep. start. Uh, and you're playing Hazard on the wing or are you playing Hazard in the middle behind the big man? I think you go with Hazard on the wing. Yeah, and then um, William behind. Definitely. Um, I think you've got the case of our best player this season in William and probably our best player at the club. And, in the, play yeah, and the player that has scored, out of the, between the two teams, has scored five goals in the Champions League this season. Zlatan has only scored three. So, come on, William. Yeah, um, we need him to make it six. Definitely. Or maybe seven. Yeah, exactly. Hattrick, uh, why not? Um, but if, let's say... Let's go with what we know and we are sure of. And if Pedro is not fit, for me, the player that has massively impressed me most is Traore. He has scored, well, as we know, he scored four goals in his last five games that he's played. He is assisting goals. He's creating penalties. He's, for me, he's been brilliant. The goal against Stoke was emphatic. The place went mental. I, I'm, it's a shame for me he even came off. Um, so... Would you be happy if Pedro isn't fit? And let's assume at the moment, because we haven't heard anything, that he isn't. Would you be happy with Traore on the on the wing? I think I would. I think the play. I think some of the sort of senior players need to take a leaf out of his book. He has been sort of direct running at players, which is where I've kind of been disappointed with Hazard this season. He hasn't been taking on the players as he did last season. Mm -hmm. And I think Traore has given that sort of new new life, new energy to that team. And I think. I'd prefer him to start over Oscar, yeah. just on uh, form at the moment. I was going to ask you about Oscar. For me, Oscar has almost, it's a little harsh to maybe say invisible recently, but he, ha for me, has made no impact to the team. But, you know, let me know your, your, your thoughts on Oscar, whether you believe Oscar should get a starting place or start on the bench, which is my, my opinion personally. Um, I, I mean, I do think he's sort of had a bit of stick from the fans recently and... Justifiably not or not? These fans play a lot of money to go and see this game. You do, so and I don't think it's through a lack of trying or effort. I think he's just really out of form at the moment. And you have to remember that he is still really young. Um, he's done well for the club. Um, he hasn't maybe hit the heights after his Juventus game when he scored those two amazing goals. And we've had that sort of, we put him on a pedestal from then. Yeah, interesting. He's actually scored two goals in the Champions League campaign, which, yeah. is, <laughs> which is kind of up there with one of the top scorers. But for me, does he get a starting place for you? No, I don't think he does. But I think he's the sort of player that, if he's on his game, can still come off the bench and make a difference. So I'm happy to see him maybe be an impact sub. Agreed. And I think uh, there's absolutely no debate whatsoever as to uh, who goes up front. No. The oh. mighty Mr. Costa, obviously. Um, so that is our team. So we have, just to confirm, we went Mikel, Fabregas midfield. We went Hazard, William, Triori on the wing, assuming Pedro is not fit. Uh, and then Costa up front. But please comment below and let us know your take on where you prefer Fabregas to play. Do you prefer him, if you think he is more effective up front or partnering up, partner up with uh, Mikel? Or do you think we have to really sit back, almost park the bus, and go Mikel Matic? Uh, and then that obviously allows Fabregas to go further forward. Or do you want to go all out um, and bring on, obviously have Triori on the wing, Pedro on the wing. Let us know your thoughts. Um, it's a massive game. Let us know how confident you are as well. I want to be confident. I feel we can do this. You? I know we can do this. Yes, I love that positivity. Good luck. Come on, the Chelsea. We Come can on do you this. Blues. Hello and welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. This is our preview show ahead of what is the biggest game of our season, 
PSG at home at the bridge this Wednesday 